Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a logical DI set. It says that in a dance competition, there are four participants P1, P2, P3, and P4, and there are three judges J1, J2, and J3. So each participant participated performed two dances D1 and D2. So table one gives the average points given to the four participants by the three judges. So for uh, average points basically means of the two dances. Okay. So uh, each one participated in two dances. Then this second table gives the least and the highest points received by the participants uh, by the judges on their two dances. Okay. So uh, for example, P1 received minimum three points and maximum seven points on dance one. P3 received minimum seven and maximum nine points on dance two. So this is how we have to uh, interpret the table. Right. So we know the minimum and maximum. We do not know the uh, we do not know the central values okay that we will have to figure out then table 3 shows the minimum the maximum and the average points given by the judges to the two dances of the four participants okay <clears throat> so uh, j1 gave minimum 3 points maximum 9 points right so on an average he gave 6.5 points to dance 1 now which participant this is participant wise right so all four participants so J3 gave minimum 1, maximum 8 points and he gave an average of 5.75 points to dance 2. So we are given relation between judge and participant. We are given the relation between dance and participant points and dance versus judge points. Right, judge versus dance points. So we are given all these. What we need to find out is how many points, if you see the question, how many points were given to particular participants by a judge for a particular dance okay so we will have to have uh, tables like this right we will have uh, like participant point given by judge for dance one for dance two so let us make two separate tables one for dance one and another for dance two okay so dance one we will have four participants p1 p2 p3 and p4 And these points are given by three judges. J1, J2 and J3. Similarly, for this also we will have three judges and four participants. three judges j1 j2 and j3 so this is for dance one this is for dance two now how do we fill this table is we know that dance uh, judge versus dance wise we are given uh, we are given participant versus judge wise right so let us see this so if it says that uh, uh, p1 received uh, so let's see this this table uh, this average average point from this we can find that how many points did a judge give to a particular dance okay so uh, now if d1 for d1 judge 1 gave total of 26 points right this is into 4 because these are for 4 participants for d1 judge 1 gave a total of 26 multiply these by 4 so j2 gave 25 and j3 gave 20 okay similarly for d2 he gave 36 right this is 29 and this is 20 okay now we know that participant wise for every dance we know the minimum and maximum right so th the minimum is 3 maximum is 7 okay for d1 uh, for p2 it is 4 and 9 so minimum 4 maximum 9 minimum 2 maximum 9 minimum 6 maximum 10 right for p4 similarly in the second dance it is minimum 4 maximum 9 minimum 1 maximum 8 minimum 7 maximum 9 and minimum 7 maximum 10 so that is this thing given to us right the third thing that is the 
total points given. So P1 uh, by judge one, P1 got six into two, twelve points. Right now, P1 would have got twelve here plus here. Okay, because J1 gave point in dance one and dance two. So this plus this total is twelve. So we will use this table later. Okay, now whenever we have to do any such problem wherein numbers are involved, you should look at extreme values. Right, be it games and tournaments or any problem wherein numbers are involved. Right, you have to do some calculations, averages, totaling, all those. So always look for highest or lowest number. Now in this case, the highest is clearly 36, way more than other numbers. Okay, 36 is the highest. Now if we consider these points, right, maximum are 9, 8, 9, 10. If you add these 9, 8, 9, 10. You get the total as 36. Okay, so this means this person gave 9. Because see, this is clearly clearly seen that if a person gets the 9 maximum possible, then that person can get the total desired number. Okay, so 9, 8, 9, 10 will give 36. Right now, what we will do, what we were discussing that judge 1 gave total 12 points to P1. So he gave nine points in dance two, so three points in dance one. <clears throat> okay, so we can find for judge one the points given. So this is 13, he gave 13 points to P2, so eight points here and five points here. He gave 18 points, 18 points means nine here, so nine here. Okay, then 19 points, 19, 10 here, so nine here. And we can see 18 plus eight, 26. Okay, so this is how we shall be able to figure out the points given. Okay, now we have <coughs> the, uh, let us see some other extreme values, right? One is the grand total. Let us look at these points. Uh, the minimums like one, two point, right? So that two point, one point, these will help us find out where will one come. Now one has to come in this line. Right, either it will come here or it will come here. Okay, suppose one comes here. Can we fill 28 in three numbers? Can we fill 28? No, we will not be able to fill 28. Okay, because that is going to be we have to add to 23 three numbers to 28. Suppose we think that okay, 10, 9, 9, because these are the maximum also, but then it will not be possible. See, if you see 4 here. Uh, then it will be 7 here and 7 here. So 14, 18. Yeah, that is one possibility. Okay. So if we take the extreme value, so we do not know that whether these numbers repeat or not. So we are assuming that these numbers are repeating. Okay. So let us take this case and try to find out that if that is possible. So J1 gave a total of total of 11 points. J2 gave 11 points to the two dance uh, to uh, P1, so 9 plus 2, but 2 is not possible here. Okay, so our whole assumption that 1 comes here is false. So 1 cannot come here because when we were taking 1, we were unable to get this condition satisfied. So this directly means that 1 will come here. Okay, now if 1 comes here, right. For P2 and J3, uh, J3 gives, J3 has given 5 points to P2, right? Average 5 points. So you should give total 10. So 1 comes here. So 9 will come here. Okay. 9 comes here. So 4 has to come here. 4 will come here. Okay. Now this way we will fill it. So P2 and J2, P2 and J2 total points given are 12. 4 is here. So 8 will come here. Right. So let's let's fill this way. Okay, so we are done with uh, P2 and uh, these three judges. Now uh, now four has to come here. Okay, if we take four, so we will look for the possibilities. Now 4 has to come here. Suppose if we put 4 here, okay, and J3 gives 7 points to, uh, so J3 has to give 14 points. 
so if we give j3 to p1 4 here we have to give 10 which is not possible right because uh, 3 maximum is 7 so it means 4 cannot come on this this uh, place right so 4 will be now j2 has given p1 to j2 uh, j2 to p1 is 11 points so 4 is here so 7 will come here okay now uh, next step this is 9 4 we do not know the central value 3 7 we have to find some central value okay let's look at this extreme value 2 points wala, right so if you put 2 here it is 11 11 plus 2 13 i cannot put 12 here right so 2 will not come here so 2 will come here right so we will we are trying going with the extreme values so 2 will come here now p3 and j3 p3 and j3 the total is 9 points so 2 is here 7 will come here okay now uh, 7 is done here and uh, one of these has to get 10 points okay one of these has to be 10 points if it is if it is 10 suppose so it has to be 6 or 10 if you put 10 here what will happen that is 21 now 2 will come here okay which is not possible so this means this means that 10 will come here and 6 will come here so now we can fill this so 10 will come here 6 will come here 15 17 and uh, it is 6 and 14 21 this is 4 okay so we can fill this value now we can fill this table also so uh, the total is uh, total for j2 is 11 12 that is done this is 13 and 18 so 13 means 4 plus 9 and 18 means 10 plus 8 so we see that uh, 16 25 29 fits okay now this totals are 14 14 6 plus 8 okay and 10 9 plus 1 fine then 9 9 is 2 plus 7 13 is 6 plus 7 so minimum is also satisfied and if we add also 7 7 14 15 8 23 so all these totals are satisfied okay so if you let's just quickly check it if all these totals match okay and the minimum maximum matches so these totals we just calculated minimum 4 maximum 9 yes that is satisfactory 1 8 okay 7 9 7 10 right so all things are matching here similarly if we see here the totals are matching 3 and 7 4 and 9 2 and 9 6 and 10 so that is also matching so this is the correct solution right so we verified the solution also now let us answer the questions how many points were given by j3 to p1 for d2 d2 j3 p1 eight points how many points were given by j1 to p2 for d1 j1 to p2 for d1 that is five points how many points were given by j2 to p3 for d1 j2 p3 and d1 that is four points how many points were given by j3 to p4 for d2 j3 to j3 to p4 for d2 dance two that is seven points so that is the solution uh, of this interesting set and the answers to the questions